Hello students. In our previous class, we have discussed torque experienced by an electric dipole in uniform electric field. Torque experienced by an electric dipole in uniform electric field. In this class, I am going to discuss work done in rotating an electric dipole in uniform electric field. Work done in the rotating an electric dipole in uniform electric field. This is our today's topic. And from our previous knowledge, we know that whenever an electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field, I am representing this uniform electric field. These are the equidistant parallel lines. Uniform electric field is always represented by equidistant parallel lines. This is uniform electric field. And in this electric field, an electric dipole here it is minus Q charge, here it is plus Q charge. This point is A, at point A, we have placed plus Q charge, at point B, there is minus Q charge. Then we know that the direction of electric dipole moment is from minus charge to plus charge. It means this is the direction of electric dipole moment of this electric dipole. This is the direction of electric field. And here it is very clear that this electric dipole is placed at an angle theta with the direction of uniform electric field. This is our situation. An electric dipole is placed at an end of theta with the direction of uniform electric field. Then we know that this dipole will experience a torque. In this class, we will not derive the formula for torque. Here we derive the formula for work done in rotating the dipole. It means the torque experienced by the dipole we will directly write in this pressure or in this tension. So here in this case the torque experienced is given by tau equals to P e sin theta. Only I am writing the magnitude. Tau equals to P e sin theta. If we write in vector form, we can write tau equals to P e sin theta n k where n k is a unit vector perpendicular to the direction of P and E both. Or if we write only in terms of magnitude, then we can write tau equals to P E sin theta only. This we are writing in the form of magnitude only. And in the case of vector form, it is tau equals to P E sin theta n k or we can also write, I am writing here, tau equals to P cross E. This is the value of torque expressed by the dipole. But in this topic, our aim is to find out work done in rotating an electric dipole in uniform electric field. It means A present or in this situation, the dipole is here. But we want to rotate the dipole like this by some angle theta. We want to rotate the dipole by some angle theta. It means we have to do some work and that work we have to get. From class 11th knowledge, we know that a small amount of work in case of linear motion, a small amount of work in case of linear motion is given by dW equals to f dx. And if we have to find out total work, we can use the concept of integration. But this is for linear motion. And here it is rotational motion. Therefore, in the rotational motion, dW is given by tau d theta. That formula of that concept we are using. dW equals to tau d theta, a small amount of work in rotating the dipole by angle d theta will be given by dw equals to tau theta. Therefore, 
I am writing here a small amount of work in rotating the dipole by angle d theta. A small amount of work in rotating the dipole by angle d theta is given by d theta equals to tau d theta. Now we can put the value of tau tau equals to P e sin theta d theta. Again I am recording here what is P? P is electric dipole moment. What is E? Intensity of electric field. Theta is the angle made by the electric dipole moment with the direction of uniform electric field. And D theta is the angle by which we want to rotate the dipole. D w equals to tau D theta or equals to P E sin theta D theta. Therefore, total work total work in rotating the dipole from angle theta 1 to theta total work in rotating the dipole from angle theta 1 to theta total work in rotating the dipole by angle theta 1 to Total work done in rotating the dipole by angle theta 1 to theta 2 is given by W equals to integral. Theta 1 to theta 2, these are the limits for integration. Theta 1 to theta 2, P e sin theta d theta. And now P e is not dependent on theta. And integration of sin theta is minus cos theta integration of sin theta here we have to write minus cos theta and limits are from theta 1 to theta this is the value of work w equals to theta 1 to theta 2 p e sin theta d theta or that can be written as p e into minus cos theta limits are from theta 1 to theta And now I am writing here W equals to P E minus can be taken out. So this is minus P E. And when you put the value, first of all, upper limit, then minus sign, and then lower limit. Therefore, it becomes cos theta 2 minus cos theta. Or then implies we can write W equals to P E cos theta 1 minus cos theta. Again, I have multiplied the minus sign inside the breaks or breaks. So, this is the final expression W equals to PE cos theta 1 minus cos theta. Initially, 
the dipole is not placed like this let initially the dipole is placed in this direction it means this is the direction of electric dipole moment this is the direction of electric field that's why theta 1 become 90 it means initially if theta 1 equals to 90 and theta 2 equals to theta if we are putting the values that if theta 1 equals to 90 and theta 2 equals to theta then our expression become u equals to p e cos pi by 2 minus cos theta we know that cos pi by 2 is 0 therefore minus p e cos theta therefore we can also write u equals to minus p e cos theta this is potential energy of the and now using the concept of vector product and scalar product it can also be written as minus p dot this is the expression for potential energy of the dipole in uniform electric field u equals to minus p e cos theta or we can also say minus p dot it means up to this point we have calculated work done in rotating the dipole that is w equals to p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 1 work done is stored in the form of potential energy therefore potential energy u equals to p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 1 if we consider theta 1 is 90 and theta 2 is theta then one term becomes 0 and other term is cos theta so we can also write minus p e cos theta and now we know that a dot b equals to a b cos theta Therefore, we can also write u equals to minus p e cos theta or minus p dot. I think it's clear. u equals to minus p dot e or minus p e cos theta. formula of u is minus p e cos theta or minus p dot e. Now case first, we are discussing case first. If theta equals to 0, in this situation, if theta equals to 0, theta equals to 0 degree means electric dipole moment and electric field both are in same direction we can represent by the diagram like this this is uniform electric field and this is the orientation of electric dipole moment here is minus q charge here is plus q charge this point is A this point is B therefore electric dipole moment is in this direction and electric field is also in this direction electric dipole moment and electric field both are in same direction when theta equals to 0 degree in that case u will become minus p e or 0 degree or we can write u equals to minus p e and that is the minimum value of potential energy and we know that minimum value of potential energy shows stable condition therefore this is the case of stable equilibrium this is the case of stable equilibrium u equals to minus p e or we can say electric dipole moment and electric field both are directed in same direction this is known as stable equilibrium clear now the second case if theta equals to 180 theta equals to 180 degree it means the electric dipole is just like this in this situation the diagram will be like this
here there will be plus q charge and here there will be minus q charge in this case the electric dipole moment is in this direction just opposite to electric field and electric field is directed in this in this situation theta equals to 180 degree then it become u equals to minus p e and here we have to write cos 180 degree because the angle between e and p in this situation is 180 degree therefore it become minus p e cos 180 degree and therefore minus p e I think you all know the value of cos 180 that is minus 1 here it is minus 1 and therefore u equals to plus p e and that is maximum value and this situation is known as unstable equilibrium in this condition the body is in unstable equilibrium this is known as unstable equilibrium it means the body is having maximum potential energy and the body have a tendency to retain the state of minimum potential energy this is the case first it means in this case first the body or the dipole is in the case of stable equilibrium this is the stable condition of the electric dipole but in this situation the potential energy become u equals to plus p e the orientation of dipole is like this and this condition is known as unstable equilibrium and the dipole have a tendency to regain its stable position so this is the topic related to work done in rotating an electric dipole in uniform electric field potential energy of dipole in uniform electric field the expression for potential energy is u equals to minus p e cos theta and then we have discussed two cases one is for stable equilibrium other is for unstable equilibrium in the case of unstable equilibrium the angle between e and p is zero so these are two very important questions related to cvc generally a question is asked draw the orientation of electric dipole and electric field for the case of stable equilibrium or in the case of unstable equilibrium this this topic is very very important i think you are understanding very clearly now i am again recalling the topic just as a revision Question number one, we can say, what is the expression for, I am repeating only the question, what is the expression for torque? What is the expression for torque experienced by an electric dipole in uniform electric field? You can think for a while, at least 30 seconds you can think or recall what is the formula and after that I am writing. Again, I am repeating the question. Torque experienced by an electric dipole placed in uniform electric field. Torque experienced by an electric dipole in uniform electric field. I think you all have recalled this. Tau equals to P E sin theta. I am writing the magnitude only. Tau equals to P E sin theta or we can write tau equals to p e sin theta and k or we can write tau equals to p cross e this is the first question tau equals to p e sin theta tau equals to p cross e second question what is the unit of electric dipole moment what is the unit of electric dipole 
just for the revision purpose so that you can easily learn these formulas as in as in when you use these formulas again and again you will be able to learn them unit of electric dipole moment if you are having some confusion then you must have the formula we know that p equals to q into d by using this formula you can easily calculate the unit that is coulomb meter the unit of electric dipole moment is coulomb meter third question what is torque if e and p are in opposite direction what is torque if e and p are in opposite direction formula is in front of you tau equals to p cross e it is only one more question what is torque if e and p are in opposite direction it means here theta equals to 180 degree and now i think you are able to guess the answer theta equals to 180 because yes there it is sin theta sin theta is zero when theta equals to 180 Therefore, here tau will be equals to 0. When E and P are in same direction, then tau will be 0. Question number 4. What is unit of potential energy? Although you all know this formula, but here we are talking about electric potential energy or potential energy of the dipole some student may confuse that there may be some different unit but no this is potential energy it means the unit remains same that is joule the unit is joule or you can also write newton meter that means this is question related to torque this is question related to unit of electric dipole moment then Torque if E and P are in opposite direction, theta equals to 180 degree, therefore torque equals to 0. Question number 4, what is unit of potential energy? That is Joule or Newton meter. Theta 1 equals to pi by 2 to theta 2 equals to pi. It means we have to find the work in rotating the dipole from pi by 2 to pi. And second question theta 1 equals to 0 to theta 2 equals to pi. Third question theta 1 equals to pi by 3 to theta 2 equals to pi by 2. I am giving three questions so that you can easily learn the formula. What is actually formula is this? To work in rotating the dipole when in uniform electric field. In first case, the formula is clear. I think you are all are recording and you are in 10 to 15 seconds. Work in rotating the dipole from theta 1 to theta 2. Just we have derived the ratio. Tau equals to P 
E cos theta one minus cos theta. This is our expression for work. W plus two P E cos theta one minus cos theta two. Now by using this formula, we can easily calculate the work. W plus two P E first case theta one equals to pi by two. Cos pi by two become zero. Minus cos theta two that is cos pi. Cos pi is minus one. That is, and therefore W plus two. This is first question. W equals to p. In second part, fifth question, part C. Theta one equals to zero. To theta two equals to pi. W equals to p e. First is cos zero. Here I am writing cos zero. Okay, and then cos pi. It means cos one eighty degree. Again, cos zero is one, and then minus of minus one. Cos one eighty minus one. Therefore, in this case, the work done will be two p e theta one equals to zero to theta two equals to pi. Work done will be two p e. And now the third case. W equals to pi by three to pi by two. P e first case cos pi by three. Cos pi by three is cos sixty, and cos sixty is half minus theta two equals to pi by two. Pi by two is cos ninety, and cos ninety becomes zero. Therefore, it is zero. And in this case, the work done is P e. Now I think you all are able to understand the concept of work done in rotating the dipole, potential energy of dipole in uniform electric field, and the condition for stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium. The formulas today we have discussed in this class are one that is torque, torque equals to P e sine theta. Second, work done in rotating the dipole. That is W equals to P E cos theta one minus cos theta two, and then finally potential energy of the dipole that is equal to work done. But in a special case, we have written potential energy W potential energy U equals to minus P E cos theta. These are the questions related to work done in rotating the dipole. I think you all are able to understand this topic.